Hey friends, welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, B7. Today I'll be doing a double feature, where I'll cover both Times Square and Royal Visit. Both games are designed by the renowned game designer, Reiner Knizia. Times Square was released in 2006, while Royal Visit was released in 2021. Royal Visit is the newer version of Times Square. This version has been rethemed with different artwork and slight rule changes, but it's almost the same game. Royal Visit's theme involves attracting the king or the crown to your chateau, while Times Square's theme focuses on attracting celebrities, Saucy Sue or Champagne Charlie to your nightclub. They're both two-player only strategy card games with hand management, track movement and tug-of-war mechanics. The player who manages to successfully attract any of the characters or the crown to their end of the board wins the game. Let's dive into a side-by-side -side comparison of both games. I'll show you all of the components and the game boxes, then I'll teach you how to play these games. Royal Visit's box is slightly thicker and contains an insert, while Times Square doesn't include an insert. Times Square uses a cardboard game board, while Royal Visit uses a cloth playmat. The playmat is a bit wider, although the game board is a bit longer. The playing pieces in Royal Visit are chunkier, with the exception of the crown. Times Square uses Champagne Charlie instead, which is bigger. The crown has different illustrated sides, which is used as an indicator within the gameplay. Royal Visit's meeples are also screen printed. Total card count in Times Square is 55 cards, while Royal Visit is 54. Times Square includes one extra card, which is the Value 3 Dancing Deb card. The cards in Times Square are longer, although the cards in Royal Visit are wider. And that's pretty much it. Let me teach you how the game is played, and I'll give you my final thoughts afterwards, including which game I prefer. I'll be using Times Square in this example. I will highlight the minor differences along the way. This is how you set up the game. Pause the video to take a closer look if you'd like. This is the game board that's divided into two rows and 17 columns. The thinner row is where you place Champagne Charlie or the crown. The thicker rows are used by all other characters. Each player will have their own side of the board that includes their last two important columns. This section is where you need to bring Saucy Sue or Champagne Charlie in order to win. The first player to do so will win the game if neither player manages to do so, the game will end immediately after when the draw pile depletes for the second time. In Royal Visit, the crown is used to keep track of this. You start out with big, the big crown side, and once the draw pile depletes for the first time, you simply just flip over the crown to its smaller crown size. The game is played in turns until the game ends. Each player starts out with 8 cards in hand which were dealt face down to each player, and that were dealt out from the shuffled draw pile at the beginning of the game. On their turn, the active player carries out these actions in order. 1A. Play one or more cards and move the corresponding figure. Or 1B. Lure a figure to handsome Hal. Or 1C. Trade cards. Then, draw cards if you did action 1A or 1C. 3. Move Champagne Charlie if applicable. Here are the actions in more details. 1A. Play one or more cards and move the corresponding figure. Each card represents one of the four characters. By playing their corresponding cards, the active player may move that figure that amount of steps. Champagne Charlie is not moved in this way. The active player plays one or more cards of the same character then proceeds to move the corresponding figure or figures. You may play any number of cards as long as that figure can carry out the entire movement of the played cards. Worth to note that Saucy Sue should always be between the two guards and can't be on the same space as them. The distance between each guard and Saucy Sue can be of any size. 1B. Lure a figure to Handsome Hal Instead of playing cards, 
the player may lure either Saucy Sue or one of her guards to his location. 1C Trade Cards A player may discard any amount of cards in hand face up on the discard pile. 2. Draw cards if you did action 1A or 1C. Draw cards from the draw pile to bring your hand size back to 8 cards in hand. If the draw pile is empty, shuffle the discard pile to create a new draw pile. Note, if playing with royal visit, flip over the crown token from the big crown side to the other side with the smaller crown. Note 2, if the draw pile depletes again, the game ends. 3. Move Champagne Charlie if applicable. Move Champagne Charlie one step closer towards you if the following conditions are met. 1. One step for each character present on the, your last two important columns that are on your side of the board. And or 2. One step if Saucy Sue and both her guards are all present at your half of the board. Once you're done with your turn, the next player takes their turn. The game end occurs once one of the following occurs. Either Saucy Sue or Champagne Charlie are present on either player's last two important columns that are on their side half of the board. That player who manages to do this wins the game. Or, when the deck of cards depletes twice in the same game, the player who has Saucy Sue on their side half of the board wins. Now here's an explanation of the special functions, actions, and cards in detail. Actions Special functions for Saucy Sue Saucy Sue moves with her guards. When a player plays two Saucy Sue cards at the same time, the player moves Saucy Sue and her two guards as a group, one space each in the same direction. Handsome Hal Attracts others with his charm. A player can choose to play no cards and use his action to cause Handsome Hal to attract either Saucy Sue or one of her bodyguards to the space he stands on. However, this does not allow him to break the special rule for Saucy Sue and her bodyguards. Dancing Deb knows Handsome Hal's game and cannot be attracted by his charm. Special Function for Dancing Deb Dancing Deb can influence another figure to move as she wants. A player can use a Dancing Deb card as a joker to move one of the other figures. Saucy Sue, Handsome Hal or one of the guards but not Champagne Charlie. Dancing Deb must be between Saucy Sue and the player's end of the board to use this function. However, if a player uses a Dancing Deb card to move another figure, the player must always move the figure type chosen only and not Dancing Deb for the rest of this turn. Cards in Detail Saucy Sue Cards Move this character one space in either direction. Guard Cards Move either guard one space in either direction. Move either or both guards for a total of two steps in either direction. Move both guards so they become adjacent to Saucy Sue and surround her. Handsome Hal Cards Move this character one, two, or three steps in either direction. Dancing Deb Cards Move this character one, two, three, four, or five steps in either direction. Move this character to the middle space of the board. And that's it! Times Square and Royal Visit are both two-player only strategy card games with hand management, track movement, and tug-of-war mechanics. The games are designed by the renowned game designer, Reiner Knizia. I'm a really big fan of the designer, and I wanted to showcase these games for you. I really enjoy the gameplay in both games. They are both very solid, dynamic, and engaging. There's tons of buck back and forth between the players. The struggle of luring the right characters into your side of the board is real. Although, there could be some very smart moves that can be performed given the right cards are at one's disposal. Artwork, theme, and setting play an important role in accessibility, as seen in games like High Society and Circus Flocati. 
royal visit's theme involves attracting the king to your chateau, while Times Square's theme focuses on attracting celebrities to your nightclub. So really depending on the person that I'd play the game with, I'd choose a specific one. Although if this was not an issue, I'd go for Times Square. I love the meeples, cards and the board more in Times Square. By all means, I'm not saying that Royal Visit's components are bad. On the contrary, they are also good. The only issue I had with it is that the card front's colors were way too similar and didn't really stand out that much, not making it very clear. This is not a game changer by any means, but could be bothersome a bit, not only to me but, other, but to other players as well. The last thing I'd like to address is the availability of both of these games. Royal Visit is still widely available at the time of recording this, while on the other hand, Times Square has been out of print for a very long time, so availability might be an issue. Have you played any of these games? Which game do you prefer? Let me know down below in the comments. Reiner Knizzi has got plenty of great two-player games. Let me know which is or which are your favorite. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you have any questions or you just want to talk, leave a comment down below and I'll try to reply as soon as I can. See you in the next episode.